Hey there everybody, this is Big Wigs, and we are back playing Rogue Legacy. Hold on, let me move my mic just a little bit over in the mouse and some stuff. And I think last time, while we were playing Rogue Legacy, we got a new character, we got some new blood start, we got some stuff. This is where we are right now in the manor. Lots of stuff. We can almost upgrade the miner. Well, not really. That needs like a million gold. There's a cool bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do is just, uh... Oh, we also beat the lot? The boss last time. I forget about that. But right now, we are playing as... Who are we playing as? Sir Teddy, the Barbarian King, who is nearsighted and short. Clearly the best combination of those two things. So we are in Castle Hampson still. We beat the boss last time, which means there is no longer a boss in Castle Hampson. But that doesn't mean we can still... Whoa. Many rooms we still need to benefit from. Oh my god! Oh shit, I got, sorry about that guys, I had to stop talking there for a second. So Dwarfism also decreases the size of your sword. That's the big issue with it, as far as I'm concerned. Ooh. There's a treasure chest somewhere, it's over there. Damn. And it's gone, we're gonna unlock this. Jump out the way. All right. Pause, make sure there's nothing else in the map. There doesn't seem to be. Let's go onwards. Uh. Shit, I don't want to do that. Sure. But it's pretty good since our new sword does a lot more damage, even though we're a barbarian which has reduced damage. We're still kind of one-shotting everything. Oh, we have this guy again. Have I shown you this guy? He basically takes 25% uh, of your current gold and you have a chance to triple the amount you gave him. A 1 in 3 chance. Lots of percentages there. Let's go with this one. What's in the box? Nothing. Fuck that guy. As much as I'd love to just, uh, always have to do it. I didn't have that much gold anyways. Fairy chest, take no damage. Okay. Shit. Failed that challenge. But really, I really couldn't expect to do any more. Uh, Dwarvism is nice to play with, because you can unlock, uh, secret things. There's secret areas that only dwarves can get into, really small areas. And, um, so it'd be nice if we could find some of those. Are you painting? No, you're not. Whoop! Did my power reduce there? Kind of a bad time to do it though, I was just about to kill something. No more magic for you. Oh my god, stop! Over with this guy. You're done, sir. Grabbing some magic so we can do some more power reduce, maybe, potentially. Probably not. It took literally all of the magic. Fuck. I got some HP, we're good. Blood Sword, remember, has the vampirism effect. Every I, time I kill someone, I get 2 HP back from it. So if I'm doing really good, then I can sort of save myself from instant death. Bye bye, sir. Bye bye, sir. You're, you're done. Some more gold. Not a bad run so far. I got 600 gold. That's always nice. We can do some stuff with that. We can get some runes with that. Hopefully, double jump would be nice. Oh shit! I mean, that was pretty cheeky. I'm, ah, shit. And we're just going to continue on with our little run. We're kind of getting to the point where we can consistently uh, beat every room of the dungeon. Castle Hampson, at least. But that's actually really good for getting gold and chests and stuff, because we're not that high of a level yet. We need uh, lots of gold to get really, what was it, like 30-something I managed to get to when I did my three-hour play? I was just starting to get into the next area, around level 30. Oh, shit. This isn't going to end well. And if I had a bigger sword, that would have hit him. And he's dead. You're dead too, son. Don't even try. Unlock this just to get the gold so we don't die. Hey there, guy. I'm hop on your head. I'm hop on your head. What are we gonna do about it? What are we gonna do about it? This is the pros do it. Also, there's an eyeball down there. I would really like it to die. What are we gonna do about it, guy? I'm gonna hop on your. I'm not. Oh, die. Die. Shit. Shit, took damage. That was unnecessary damage. That's fine. As the Barbarian, I have a shit ton of health. Once again, we'd still like to find a little dwarfism, like, nook to crawl into. But it's not really necessary. Slowly losing HP. Not as much as we would, though, without the vampirism effect. Let's go up a little bit more. And you're painting. Uh... Oh, doing some... Ah, oh, big dodges there for a while, at least. I'm not sure if health stays over. It's hard to tell. 
I think health does reset once you leave a room, which is a really big issue right now. Oh my god, the mad skills that I just displayed there. I'm glad I got that on the recording. Oh shit, I just fell down on my mad skills. More mad skills. This is some free HP now, that's all I'm really getting. Ah, oh, more free HP. Jumping up some, this leads up to the Maya. We are not really ready for the Maya, but I always take a peek. Just in case I get really incredibly lucky and there's just a treasure chest in this room. Uh, there is not. We're leaving. In fact, I'm not sure if it even lets you do that. I'm not sure how the rooms are coded into the game. Coded? I meant to say coded. Oh, there's, oh my god! <laughs> take that, son. More gold. Lots of gold. Oh my god, more more gold than I could ever possibly hope to uh, really do anything with. I say that, but I'm, I'm, I'll am i find use. I'm pretty resourceful when it comes to spending money. Uh, there's really no amount of money that I cannot spend. I'm just going to break this chandelier all. Ooh, did I kill everything on this floor? I feel like I did. Shit. Alright, you're dead. You're dead. Oh, get on my level, son. Get on my level, son. I like these bookcases because I'm I'm just small enough to get under them, but I can still swing my sword and hit people on top of them. It's a nice little effect. Whoa! Come on, yeah, man. Oh shit! I was about to not say shit, but I decided, you know what? Let's just do it. And there's some skeletons over there. They're not an issue. And we have our prize. A chest. We're actually gaining some HP now. That's what mad skills allow us to do. Oh my god, this guy. Alright, that guy is a boss. I, I'm... You know, let's just see how he works out. Oh shit! He dashes around and stuff. Uh, I think his name was Botus. Let's find out. He's Botus. He's level 22 with a strength of 61. Wow, Botus. You are doing pretty badass right now. Oh, God. Don't do that. Please. Shit. You know what? Botus is a bit beyond us right now. Uh, maybe not because um, my character is too low, but maybe because I just don't have... Enough size, enough reach to really get at him with some good hits. I'd like to be able to do something like that. It's just a little bit too risky. Just, to, I just risk just slamming my face into him. Oh, another blueprint. Night Helm. Those things are really good. We'll be able to unlock a bunch of night stuff with this. In fact, we might just, instead of uh, upgrading our castle, we might just, just deck ourselves out with some sweet armor. Of course, it could be getting that we, uh, how many more rooms do we have to explore? Not many. Looks like one. Or two. Or three. Actually, there's a bunch of rooms to explore. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, dwarfism. Pulling its weight there. Plus some barrels. Free gold, maybe? Uh, where do we want to go? We want to go down and over one. And we are in this room. Attack that eye. It's not doing, not doing me any favors. Stay in there. Everything's going down pretty nicely. Um, is there something up there? No, there is nothing up there. We're not going to risk that. This would be dangerous if I didn't have that double dash. In which case, it's actually not dangerous at all. I know someone might say double jumps better than that double dash thing. But I just find the dash thing incredibly useful for dodging. Especially enemies. Alright, I think we're heading into the forest now. Correct? Yes. Is there anything in here? Oh. Piss off, son. Get on my level. The force, we're, we're a bit unprepared for the force. But there's a chest I would like to get at here. Still just 200 gold. Um, I'm not feeling it, though. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Not too badly so far, actually. It's gotta be said. You know, we might want to explore a little bit in here. No, we don't. Hmm. It's so tempting just to look around a little bit. Alright, well, we'll play around the forest a bit. 
Oh my god, it's a carnival! I've never seen one of these before. What do we do? Hello, sir. One shot. You only get one shot with free charge. Try to give you a nice reward. Ten target. Um. Oh! So we throw daggers. Uh, oh my. Oh yeah, this is great for a nearsighted person. Oh, we get gold every time we win, so it's not really... Winning would be nice, but just breaking these targets is also a pretty nice reward in and of itself. Okay, so... Oh my god, I'm failing pretty hard, though. I'm not the best with these daggers. Oh, we got that one, though. Uh, this one's gonna be 50 gold. That's actually really good. Oh, yeah! I'm not sure how we're gonna get that one. And we ran out. But hey, you know what? That was at least 100 gold going in. More than that. That is worth it. It's worth the attempt. Um, still kind of worried about doing everything. Oh, you got new breakables. I'm always a fan of new breakables. Um, a very simple room. Yeah, you know, I was a little bit worried about going into the forest at first, but uh, this place seems to really pan out for us. <gasps> Fairy chests. Come on! Oh no! Ah, <sighs> yeah, definitely pan out for us. I don't know why I was so scared of the forest before. Reach speed. Oh, I could have done it if I was more prepared. We might want to lock the castle down for this. Actually, now nah, we don't really want to. I'm still a little bit, uh, a little nervous of going into the forest. We don't. Castle Hansen still has a lot to offer us, I think. Shit. You know, we're already here. Okay, okay, some, some bad dudes coming up. But they're not much of a match, if I'm being honest. 2,000 gold, definitely the most gold I've ever had in one uh, little playthrough. This is definitely one of the longer ones, and there's a chest there. I would really like to get that. Uh, but I... Once again, die next to a chest. Let me check my timer, because I've been doing this for... Oh my god, that was a hell of a long run. Oh my god, the enemies. Maximum mobility in your rooms makes you awesome. I agree, Sir Teddy. So now we have a few more people. We're actually almost running out of time for this playthrough. Eventually, I'll get so good that I can do full 20 minutes with just one character. That'd be nice. But let's look at it. We have two Archmages. I don't really want the Miner just because, um... Well, maybe I do want the Miner. You know what? Let's go with the Miner just for a bit more gold. And we'll be able to upgrade our Miner now. And I've never seen what that does. I'm now a Spelunker. Turned your riders to Spelunkers now that Spivy Light in your head actually does something. Not really. Oh. There's a little... You know, let's upgrade some... Some stuff. We got the blood chest plate. Not sure how good that'll be. Still no capes. But you know what? We get some more health on this dude. That's well worth it. Actually, let's see what the runes have to offer as well. I say do, but this is a woman, so I need to be more respectful when I refer to her. We have a grace rune. Enemies scale slower, easier, but lesser rewards. Ah, actually, I'm doing really good skill wise. I'm not sure if I want to do that. We can get double jump. Shazza! Shazza! Not sure where that came from, but it came. Oh, yeah. Pretty ballin' now. Giving some money to Karen. We don't really care, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. That is pretty sweet. If I do this to myself, Miner's my new favorite character. Or at the Spelunker now. As this character is referred to. Fuck you. Also, fairly large as well. Do you have the, uh, what is it? The Gargantuan? Very weak in all their stats. Nope. You do not. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's a chicken. Chickens freak me out on this character. 
Uh, basically, that's what Electrophobia does. I believe I showed it before. Some gold, but we got Miner on us, so it's another 30% gold. Already doing very well. We want to go down and get those two chests. That would be pretty sweet. Oh yeah, boss room. I need to look for signs of that while I'm playing this character, because now that means boss room. Unlock some of that. Oh yeah. It's all, it's all coming up roses. Doom boss. Shit. I'm taking some pretty big hits. But it's fine though, because uh, the vampirism effect is really just holding its own right now. Oh my god, we're at 897. This is probably going to be an amazing run. Unless I die right here. In which case, it'll only be a mediocre run, because... To be honest, just using the miner getting this much gold is very impressive. Come on, buddy. What are you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna, oh, I saw that coming a mile away. Fuck you. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, no! Enslaved by a corrupt knight. 800 gold, though. That's, uh... That's pretty good. Uh, we have three minutes left. I'm gonna turn off... Well, hmm. I'm gonna turn off the timer just because... If this one lasts a long time, then it's gonna be the last one. If it's not, then hey, maybe it'll be good. And we have the Shinobi. We also have the Assassin, two characters we've not used yet. At least on this. Let's use the Shinobi. I actually really like the Shinobi. 893. Can we level up anything? We can get Haggle. We can also get Crit Chance. Hmm. Actually, we can't get Haggle. Oh, uh, this is Nostalgia Trait. It makes everything nostalgic. Which is nice, I guess. Look at the Night Helm. Can we equip it? No, we cannot equip it. We don't have enough carry equip. <gasps> I just wasted some money. I feel kind of bad about that. I just... Oh, I just spent like a shit ton of gold, didn't I? Shit. I got really mad when I saw someone else do that, too. So, Shinobi, as you can see, one-shot everything, basically. And they have almost no health. I have like 69 health. They have even less than the big mages. Which is why I really want that helmet to kind of... Okay, shit. This is going to end well. <laughs> I'm not jumping as well as I need to. The mad jumps aren't pan out. Ah, oh, shit. I want that more than anything, though. Alright. Alright, this is not a complete waste of time, then. The blood cape. Uh, it's a cape. We don't have a cape yet. Jesus Christ. We are not doing so hot here. I don't know what it is. I was doing so well with the Barbarian. I think it's just because the Barbarian has shit to know. Uh, Alright, you're dead. You're dead, son. And 100 gold. I don't think 100 gold will get us to your 200 gold that we have. We'll get us too far in this late stage. Oh my god! What the fuck was that? There's not even anything in that room. That's just a trap. Oh, this guy. We'll use him because we only have 200 cent gold. All right. Oh, I was lucky. So that means not too much gold back, but hey, we might be able to get a few upgrades with this. <laughs> that kills doom bosses in one hit. That's what it's all about. That's why Shinobi's good. Something bothering you? Just hit it once. It's gone. Not bother anyone else. Now. Fuck up some shares, some sweet gold. Did you move? That's right, you didn't move. Did you move? I don't even know. I'm just gonna attack all the paintings. I don't really. Not a big fan of artwork. Art art appreciation is not this game's uh, forte. Oh shit! That uh, that bookcase almost killed me. All right, but it's cool. We're Shinobi. We can just like uh, slip silently through people's guards. Defeat all enemies. Which is impossible. That is very annoying. It's not impossible. There is a spell that attacks all enemies on the screen. But um, we have not gotten the access to it. We haven't found it. I don't think anyone starts with it. I'm gonna drop down. We're gonna kill this thing. Get some air HP. Oh man, we're back at half health. We are doing so good. 
Hopefully this won't be another 13 minute run. I say that, but I kind of want it to be. I don't mind having a nice fun Rogue Legacy playthrough. Or vid. Me just showing off my mad skills. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to tell with the Shinobi. Shinobi's a very high risk, high reward character. Uh, although it does say that with the Knave, Shinobi is much more high risk, high reward just because it has so few HP. And that's a healing thing. If we ever get real low, we can come back here and probably get ourselves back to full health. Oh shit, I just ran into that. Uh, we got some magic. We'll be using the magic a bit. Alright. Fucking shit up. And treasure chest is our reward. 200 gold. That's worth it. I really wish I hadn't thrown away 600 gold, though. We're gonna use this right now. 20 HP recovered. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Rift on the Shinobi. That'll give us an extra hit. Maybe two extra hits if we, uh... If we're lucky. Whoa! Still can't kill those knights in one hit. Or maybe it's just because they're sort of scaling up to us. It did say that. Ah, shit. Okay, so this is a difficult room. We're gonna have to bum rush. How long is that missile gonna fly? Oh, it's because it's just constantly firing. Fuck. It's really the only way to go, unless we wanna go all the way back. And let's, let's continue forward. Shit. Oh well. That'll be our last run. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can level up. Who are we gonna choose? Lady Blair the Paladin. Very nice. Gigantism is very nice, especially with the dagger spell as well. I could have used that on the Shinobi. Uh, Shinobi CIP. Congenital and oh, and sensitive to pain. This one means you can't see your HP. It's not the best. Corp Prolalia. That might be Tourette's? It looks like Tourette's. But, um... We're gonna go with this character. This will be for the next video. This video is obviously over. Um... What else do we want? What else do we need? Upgrading this will let us have better potions, better food, haggling as well. We have enough for haggling. Uh, we're gonna unlock... Hmm... Let's go this way. Because now I can lock the spell thief. Mmm, I'm getting hungry. I don't think the mic can pick that up though. Oh, we're just huge in the damage, yes. I feel slower. Whoosh, whoosh. That's fine. So that's the end for this video. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I've noticed that a certain video, I think the demo run when I did this, when I beat the boss in the demo, is um, getting like hundreds of, like not hundreds, but a hundred views or something. It's absolutely insane. But anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll be doing this later. I'm trying to make this a daily vid thing, but like I said, my schedule is really weird with my part-time job, and I'm a full-time student, so it's really just whenever I can. And uh, thank you guys for watching, by the way, and I'll see you around. Bye.